good morning student uh, here we are with our new block uh, that is block 7 which is from history uh, the name of the block is the Mohan Empire and to this date we have already completed our geography portion for the uh, whole syllabus uh, uh, so we we are left with three history blocks and two uh, political science blocks so we will be doing now history and then we'll be doing the two lessons which are left from the uh, political science in this block in this block basically we will uh, learn about the features of an empire what are the features of an empire and then with a specific reference to the main topic Mauryan empire and how the empire ruled his how the emperor ruled his empire and the policies of dharma introduced by emperor ashoka so this mauryan empire was uh, was uh, uh, followed by uh, ashoka was a great uh, king who introduced this uh, policies of dharma so we'll be studying that also and in today's lesson especially today's lesson we'll be only studying the features of the mauryan empire or you can say features of an empire how empire should be or how it is ruled and how the work is done so the key words will be empire and emperor the boundary of the Mauryan empire covered a much larger area than the area of magadha if you have studied uh, if as we have studied the previous lesson you have remembered janapadas and mahajanapadas lesson in mahajanapadas you, you have remembered that you have studied about magadha vaji these were mahajanapadas so you remember those were specifically one kingdom big kingdom where many villages were there so that's called a kingdom mahajanapadas but what is an empire is that when the power of a king extends from one kingdom to the other parts or many kingdoms then it becomes an kingdom anymore so during the time of Ma Mauryan Empire, the area was more larger than the Magadha and the boundary of the kingdom increased very large extent and that's why it is called an empire. And the ruler of the empire was called an emperor. Like the ruler of a kingdom can be called as a king but the ruler of an empire is called an emperor. So an emperor would need many soldiers as it is very big. So he knew he need many soldiers and a large army to protect his empire. To pay the soldiers, he had to collect taxes, money, um, money in the form of taxes from people from his empire because he has to collect from them. And for this, he appoint officials to collect tax from people on a regular basis. And the emperor would also appoint people to see, go and see in different areas what people are doing, how things are spies. He has to send spies because empire means is a big one he can't just rule uh, from his place or in a capital city he needs to send people to various places to see what's happening so that's how an empire works and that's what are the features of an empire now coming back to our main topic our lesson main lesson topic the Mauryan empire so the Mauryan empire was founded by Chandragupta Maurya and 2000 years back somewhere 2300 years back and he overthrew the that time king nanda kings the nanda kings were the ruler he overthrew them but he did all this with the help of a very uh, clever person known as chanakya chanakya so with the help of chanakya he uh, chandragupta maurya was able to overthrow the nanda kings and Janaka was a very good advisor, strategic thinker, and he has written a book also called Artha Shastra, which talks about uh, politics, economics, foreign affairs, administration, military, arts, war, religion, everything. It talks about how a king should or, or an em emperor should rule and everything, all the details of an uh, details of the ruling of an uh, kingdom or running a kingdom or country so he is known as a very good politician from that time so with the help of him Chandragupta Maurya came into the power and Chandragupta was succeeded by his son uh, Bindusara and his son extended the Mauryan Empire till Mysore and Bindusara was uh, succeeded by his son Ashoka who is regarded as the greatest ruler of the empire by many historians he extended Mauryan Empire till modern day Afghanistan 
with Patliputra as capital. And Afghanistan, we have seen so many Buddhist uh, temples and all. This this shows that it is real that Ashoka has extended his uh, empire to that place also. The Mauryan Empire appointed the family members to control the large army. So they appointed their own family members, and they are only not the cup. They were con they were controlling from the path capital Patliputra, but other states like Ujjain and Taxila were also governed by royal princes, means their own family people. And the emperor also appointed officials for collecting taxes, maintaining law and order, keeping a check on the activities of the subjects. We have already talked. These are the features of an empire. So if there is an empire, this has to be done. This way it has to be done because these are the features, the characteristics of an empire. So numerous army battalions were maintained for protection against attacks which regarded which required sorry which required expenditure and salaries. Hence the system of taxes were introduced in the empire. So the taxes were needed for the maintaining the army plus running the whole empire. And as you know, our Indian national emblem is that three four lion, you know. Uh, we see in our currency uh, which is at the Sarnath pillar that is also actually uh, est established by this Ashoka in the Mauryan Empire King Ashoka only so which we uh, know as our Indian emblem the three lions or the lion capital of the Indian currency notes and coins which we see were founded by a Mauryan Empire at Sarnath so that is also uh, from the Mauryan Empire our national Indian national emblem so here we are, we are done with this. It's a very small part of this lesson, features of an empire. Here we are not talking about many of their achievements or something uh, worse and all. Here we are just talking about how an empire is different from a kingdom. Kingdom is a very small with a, with a few villages. A king is there who rule after them. A king empire is a very big bigger than many kingdoms and it has got an emperor who rules so it has got many officials and many like in country ruling a country emperor uh, simply if you want to you understand then understand like this empire is just like ruling a country and kingdom is just like ruling an state okay so that is the basic difference main difference between these two so that is what i have understood in this lesson plus you have seen that how who, who how Mauryan Empire established and some of the characteristics of Mauryan Empire. In our upcoming lesson, we will be learning more about them and we will be learning about Ashoka, uh, Ashoka's Dhamma and about them. It's a very simple and easy lesson, though it's a history, but it's not a very tough lesson because Mauryan Empire is very, mm, very easy. Uh, as you can understand and Ashoka's when you come to read Ashoka's Dhamma and all it will be more uh, interesting because it's very nice so it's not a very hard chapter so you read the features of an empire from page 64-65 complete S1 complete PQ in your content book which is an exercise complete P2 PQ2 which is a question but very simple question I, 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 I hope so you can understand and write complete the assignment in the Google classroom and if you have any doubts please contact me do remember today is Tuesday we are having SS class and tomorrow will be Wednesday when we will be having class again in place of grammar class so I'll not be uh, reminding reminding you again because I have already told it in the last Google meet and I, we have done Wednesday class as well so I hope you will remember and we'll see you again Today, I'll have given two questions, PQ, one uh, S1, and I'll be giving one, uh, uh, say, uh, today, I'll, to, I'll be giving one Google Classroom, but tomorrow, we are having the next day class, so tomorrow, I'll be lessening up the homeworks, but it's not that today I'm giving, you have to complete by tomorrow. You can take your time and complete by Thursday also, no problem, okay? So, Take your time. It's not that I'm giving you today itself and tomorrow I'll giving you lesser work. So anyhow, you can complete all this by Thursday or by Friday. It's okay. No problem. Take your time. If you have any doubt, just rang me up. I'll explain it to you. But please try to do it by yourself. So see you tomorrow on Wednesday class. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Okay. Bye-bye.